Hey folks, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend because I'm sure enjoying mine and I do apologize for the last couple of weeks you know for not having any uh, video analysis up because I was actually pretty busy last couple of weeks you know I was away in uh, Malaysia and thus I wasn't able uh, wasn't available to you know make it back in time to have my usual uh, weekly forex video analysis so but nonetheless I'm back this week and I'm actually pretty excited to share with you uh, potential swing trading opportunities in the coming week because uh, I was, as you've noticed that this present week we have seen quite a bit of volatility on the yen pairs on the dollar denominated pairs and I uh, actually uh, am looking to you know long some of these pairs so you know without further ado let's look at uh, a few charts that I'm actually uh, paying attention to this week so the first one will be this is a chart of the dollar yen right so let's look at it at a macro perspective so we can see that since uh, I would say sometime during uh, October 2012 we can see this pair you know, started this nice beautiful uptrend right so it rallied really really well we trace a little before rallying higher so I, we can all conclude you no know, I mean looking at the chart you no know, left to right you can see that this this uh, this pair is actually in a pretty healthy uptrend right uptrend so what I would like you to pay attention to is actually this two triangle pattern here this one here right which form here and another one currently being formed around here so what's interesting is that if you look at this first triangle pattern okay number one call it and this is the second one number one the triangle pattern it took it formed about I would say 30 weeks right before it finally broke up to the upside right broke up to the upside it consolidated for about 30 weeks right which is close to about half a year and if you count with this uh triangle pattern that's in the midst of forming right now it has actually consolidated about I would say close to 30 weeks as well all right almost there so what my view is personally is that I anticipate a breakout to the upside over here all right because the trend is still up and you know looking at time and price analysis 30 weeks it consolidated before a breakout and right now it's forming a consolidation pattern all right a triangle pattern for about 30 weeks now and I anticipate a breakout to the upside as well so my bias for the dollar yen is to the upside so right so next question is since i'm looking to long where will i long right the question is where all right so with that let's look at the daily charts to look at where i'm interested to long the dollar yen this is the daily chart all right so i zoom out a little and you can see that's actually being supported by two price level all right basically the 101 level over here and the 104 resistance level over here there's another swing high over here so do take note and so my plan for this dollar yen is actually to long at this 101 area over here, all right? Should price come back and retest this support area over here, I'll be looking to long at the 101 level. I will not be looking for any candlestick pattern, but I'll simply queue with the buy limit order, all right? So that's my entry. Next question is, where would I place my stop loss? With regards to the stop loss, here's how I go about it. Looking at the ATR, right? I would have a stop loss of about 70 pips, which I'll say somewhere around 99 my stop loss will be around 100 and I think dot three, so it's somewhere around here, right? This would be my stop loss, right? From 101 to 100 dot three. Let me erase it and make it clearer. So my stop loss will be somewhere around here, okay? So yep, this would be my stop loss. So looking to long around the 101 level, stop loss about 70 pips around here. So the blue line, blue vertical line here would be my stop loss. And yep, I'll see how this pair plays out. Should it come and retrace to my desired level, I'll be looking to long. So profit target wise, first target will, will most likely be at this swing high over here, which I'm looking to take half my profits. And I'll let the remaining half ride and see how far this pair could actually go. So that's my anal analysis for the dollar yen. All right, the next pair I'll be looking at is the Canadian yen. So let's look at Canadian yen. Again, similar story as the dollar yen, right? I see uh, bullishness on this pair, right? You can see that price has been uh, in an uptrend, right? It recently broke out the resistance area over here, which is th this thing over here. You this price broke out of it, consolidated, retested this 94.70 level, which is previous resistance, now turn support, and price then rallied higher once more. So... I'll be looking to buy on pullbacks for this pair, right? Buy on pullbacks, right? It's a little different compared to the dollar yen earlier because dollar yen earlier was still in the consolidation. 
but for this pair right now, it has really broke out of its uh, range and I'm looking to buy on pullbacks. So how would I go about it? Alright, so let's look at the 4 hour chart to have a clearer, I would say more intricate view of this pair. Looking at the 4 hour chart, I've already highlighted the two key levels I'm watching. So they are the 95.35 and the 94.70. So should price come back and retrace and approach this 95.35 level in the coming week, I'll be looking to have a buy limit order placed over here, all right? And my stop loss will be somewhere around here. All right, so from here, the support level to here would be my stop loss level. Profit target wise, I'll be looking to take half at the swing high over here, all right? Simple, you bet. So some question or some uh, some thoughts that you have in your mind could be, Rainer, what if price came down to 95.35 and stopped me out? Would you be looking to long at the 94.70 level later on? You bet. I would definitely look to long at the next level, which is the 94.70 level, right? So that's my uh, game plan. If I do get stopped out, I'll be looking to long at the 94.70 level as well. Thus, I highlighted these two levels, right? So, yep, that is for the Canadian yen. So let's see what else I have in stock. Ah, all right. The pound dollar. Another very beautiful pair. Look at the weekly chart. The pound dollar is also in another beautiful uptrend. So notice that most of my trade setup, I like to trade pairs which are trending really nicely. So the pound dollar, you know, really beautiful uptrend. We have a series of high lows, right? Here, 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 and here. So there's no reason to actually uh, doubt this trend because it looks very healthy if you ask me. So with that, in an uptrend, I'll look to buy on pullback as well. So how would I look to long on this pullback? So let's look at the forward chart, all right? So immediate key levels you notice is actually this swing low over here and this swing low over here, right? It's more like a zone for here. So should this pair again retrace back to this area over here, the 17097 area, I'll be looking to long as well. Stop loss will be somewhere around here, all right? So this is my stop loss. And as usual, first target will be at this swing high over here. Pretty simple, right? Find a nice beautiful uptrend, Look for a level that you are interested along and get your entries and stop loss and take profit levels. So pretty, I'll say pretty mechanical if you ask me. So again, I'll, I'd like to briefly summarize. One, look for a strong trend. Alright, that's how I go about it. Number two, identify your support resistance level. Thirdly, entry stop loss take profit all right so that is basically summing up my entire trading philosophy here in three pointers all right i can actually go on and on and elaborate more about it but my my purpose of this forex video analysis is actually to give you some uh, brief analysis on the coming week so yep i will definitely be be uh you know free to share more with you guys in the subsequent uh, weekly video analysis if you guys are actually interested in it Right, so that's for the pound dollar. So let's skip on to the last pair which I'm looking at right now, so which is the euro pound. Right, again, uh, this is the weekly chart of the euro pound, and look how beautiful this downtrend is. Okay, notice uh, this is the swing low over here was broken and price retraced. Then we have another swing low over here, price traded lower and retraced. Another swing low over here, price traded lower and retraced. Another swing low once again, and price traded lower. Retrace a little, another swing low over here, trade it lower, another swing low over here, retrace a little, and trade it lower. So you notice that all the previous, I would say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 swing low, the previous 6 swing low were broken, right? They were just broken. So I don't see a reason why anybody in the right frame of mind would look to long. Why not look to short instead since, you know, all the previous swing low has been broken thus far. So I would say the next area to be actually cautious is cautious is actually this swing low over here, right? So price could potentially come back and test this support over here and may rebound. So, but nonetheless, there's no need to worry because I think we have another 160 pips before approaching this swing low over here. So how I look to trade this pair? Looking at the forward chart, right? You can see that there is a what we have here at the 79.10 level, right? This level over here, we have tested once. Tested twice, tested thrice, support, then price broke this support level. Previous support then became resistance and price traded lower. So my plan for this pair is actually simply to have a sell limit order at where? Easy, at here. 79.10 level with a 20 pip stop loss around here. 
Okay, this will be my stop loss. Looking to take my first target profit at this single over here. Right, so if price were to come back and retrace little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit into my this zone over here, you can be sure as hell that I'll be looking to short at that price level. So yep, that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys uh, find my Forex analysis useful. If you do enjoy, you can head on to my website at tradingwithrainer.com. I have uh, free articles, you know, you can join my Facebook discussion group over there. You can like my page, you can, uh, I'm not sure what you can even do, just, just have a visit and see if there's anything useful for you guys out there. So with that, I wish you good luck and good trading. Thank you.